isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives Gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee. And it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. He aligns himself with the truth, and it's time for you to choose a side. You're listening to Alex Jones. My love is in lead to the freeway. Look at the story out of Bloomberg. Secretary of State John Kerry burnishes green badge in Asia as volcano disrupts trip. He says, we've seen here in Asia how extreme weather events can disrupt world trade. Kerry said to an audience of Indonesian students as business leaders, it's today's globalized economy. The entire world feels it. And went on to imply that the uh, volcano was caused by man-made global warming. This is all a global tax scheme. And, you know, the truth is, I want to finish up with the Second Amendment news and then get into this other news, but everybody in the system stands to gain by being more free and more honest and not just living in denial. We have another report here out of Time Magazine of all places, and I don't just read this in time and say it must be true because it's in time. Usually stuff's pretty deceptive in time. They came out and admitted that fluoride is brain damaging children in the U.S. and connected to ADHD. That came out actually on Friday, February 14th. That's a big deal. Children exposed to more brain-harming chemicals than ever before. We're talking about that in the next hour and open the phones up. Uh, again, David Knight is uh, here with us riding a shotgun. I'm your host, Alex Jones. D -d David, I've been kind of dominating things uh, in between the reports. M more points about what we're seeing. I mean, it's so frustrating to be informed like the the Earth orbits the sun, but a lot of Americans don't think that, and they think we're liars. I thought uh, everything and, orbited around Washington, D.C. Uh, exactly. That's, that's, that's actually where it orbits. I mean, we're informed. <laughs> It's not our opinion that we're right. That's why the evil people that run the government, both major parties, hate the real liberty movement mm -hmm. and are demonizing it and preparing the military and police to fight it because we're the people that know what's going on. And if we get the word out to other folks, it's game over. Well, that's the thing. They're trying to demonize it. They don't want anybody to, they, they want everyone to be afraid of guns and gun owners. And so they do what Eric Holder said that they would do. Brainwash. They're constantly brainwashing people. We just had this case over in Beaumont, Texas, where this guy's got a gun store and he was hassled going into the mall where his gun store was because he was open carrying, which is perfectly legal, open carrying a rifle in Texas. And so he had the police called on him. He got hassled by the mall. And so he moved to another location as part of his grand opening. He's got a guy dressed up as a banana with an AK-47 over his back. And again, this guy gets hassled. 
Ford, a semi-auto. It was like a Mac 90. Yeah. yeah, distracting traffic when down the street they've got a, a tax place that's got a Statue of Liberty out there. I don't, I don't get the connection with Statue of Liberty and taxes, but they had, they're out there telling people that, you know, come here and, and get your taxes done. This guy was in front of his... No, in Dallas and in Houston and other areas, they don't allow free speech if it's, if it's, if it's for liberty. Yeah, exactly. It's selectively enforced. They say, you know what I find is crazy? Feet of a street. It's the bureaucrats giving these orders, and I'm not kissing the police behind end here. I just, it's the facts being a talk show host for 19 years, being around the country. After the military, the police on average are probably some of the most conservative libertarian people. Well, polls show it like 98% pro gun in polls I've seen mm -hmm. in national surveys. So mm -hmm. they know, well, why are they following these illegal, unconstitutional orders? What are their unions doing? I mean, look, if they get rid of the Second Amendment, folks, everything else goes away. Well, the interesting thing is, is that, you know, we are waking people up, but the mass of the public is also being exposed as continuous brainwashing <sighs> against gun owners, against the, the very sight of guns. The LA Times reported last year that gun crime plunges over 20 years, but public perceives higher gun crime. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just had a, a Supreme Court, not a Supreme Court, an appeals court decision on Thursday. Ninth Circuit. Ninth Circuit. And in it, they quoted Heller, Heller versus D.C. Now, if you remember Heller versus D.C. as well as McDonald's. Was the off-duty cop who couldn't have a, a shotgun. Right. And both of those established that you have an individual right to keep and bear arms. That's right. The right of the people is, in fact, an individual right, as if we didn't know that. But this, this court uh, opinion, this uh, circuit court opinion, quotes from Heller, and it also quotes from an 1840 decision, which says things like, the right guaranteed by the Constitution of the U.S. is calculated to incite men to a manly and noble defense of themselves if necessary and of their country without any tendency to secret advantage and unmanly assassination. <laughs> so that's language from the 1840s that was quoted. It's about having a nation of men. Exactly. Uh, uh, who, are, who can defend themselves, and then you have a professional police force for larger events. That was language from the 1840s quoted in the Heller versus D.C. So it wasn't just that they were saying, you have a right to own guns, but you got to keep them in the closet. You know, they, they said that you have the right to bear your arms. And so read that again. They said, this is a right guaranteed by the Constitution, which is calculated to incite men to manly and noble defense of themselves, if necessary, self-defense and of their country without any tendency to secret advantages and unmanly. Yeah, it, so the general public is trained how to use guns from birth. So that when we had World War I or World War II, the, the Germans were pretty freaked out. That's right. Because especially people from the South or Texas or the West, which had been shooting since they were knee-high to a grasshopper. I've been shooting since I was four years old. That's right. And people say, how can you do that? Well, you train kids with a 410 with coffee cans, show them the power up front uh, so that you know people understand don't touch it. And by the time I was six, I could shoot bulls out 100 yards. And then by the time I was 10, but they're basically phasing all that out, killing that culture, making it specialized. And I watched last night... Uh, Tom Hanks's uh, movie, uh, Captain Phillips, which they say is pretty accurate. And I've interviewed some of the captains that wrote books even before his case happened about how they go around the Horn of Africa and they have no guns because governments want the monopoly. Mm -hmm. They can't even have handguns. If they'd have had one deer rifle, they could have shot the four Somalis coming in uh, on the back of their boat. They had to, And they almost fought them off with water hoses and flare guns. <laughs> and, of course, they can be fined for using flare guns. <laughs> so, so the ultimate, I mean, these guys can drive giant ships through canals and things that can kill thousands of people, just like an airline pilot can be trusted to fly this giant weapon, this giant missile, but oh, they can't have a gun in the cockpit. Yeah, well, you know, it's interesting to see this quoted. This is an 1840 decision that they quoted in the, the circuit court, and they also quoted Heller, and Heller was very good. Heller said, this codifies a pre-existing right. In other words, Heller versus D.C., the Supreme Court said, you don't get your rights from the government. The government is simply recognizing inherent rights that you already have, which we government is supposed to work as a guarantor, right? And so we we've got some good decisions being made here by the courts. Exactly. That's what I want to say. There are a lot of good people in the system, in the corporations, in the private businesses. I'm not, I'm not saying everybody's bad, mm -hmm. but but the really evil people, the offshore globalists. Look at Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, all the regular suspects. They're f f go look at who funds the anti-gun groups. Oh yeah. Go look at who funds open borders. Go look at who funds uh, teaching kids how to be, uh, you know, transgender at age five. Well, you've got Bloomberg putting together mayors against illegal guns. And, of course, we see that even though the Constitution says that you have these rights, even though the Supreme Court says you have They've ignored rights, it for five years. The mayor still infringing on people's rights, absolutely ignoring the Constitution. Court Courts rule they everything. can't do the stop and frisk without warrants. That's right. And or they don't care because this is a group that's in charge of the cities, the big cities like New York and Washington and Chicago, and even some of the small cities where they're 
just a criminal group of thugs that don't have any legitimate authority because they've put themselves above the law. By the way, I've protested uh, people like Bloomberg, people like uh, Rudolph Giuliani, the IRS commissioner, you name it, our reporters have. And they will literally send thugs up at a press conference. We're just asking a polite question or even before we have and say, hey, get out of here. Grab me by the arm. Get out of here. I'm going to arrest you. And we have to say, we have this on video. We've played many of them. No, no, First Amendment. Then they back off. But, I mean, you deal with these people. I mean, it's like out of a gangster movie. Oh, yeah. And, and, and they're that close, folks. They've already signed us on to, according to the USA Today, 1.5 quadrillion in derivatives. To put that in perspective, the national debt's, what, 19 trillion now? Yeah, I don't know. So the, so, so the real supposed debt they've signed us on to, that supposedly our debt's 19 trillion, which is still just gargantuan. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, millions of dollars per citizen. Last yeah. time I saw a number, I think it's a million three hundred thousand. But the point is, is that now they've signed us on to these foreign, these are literal mafias. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. And, and one of the scenarios that they train on where they come after the Tea Party and they come after conservatives is after a meltdown of the economy. And that's what... Because yeah, we're going to say, don't take our 401ks. That's right. Don't take our IRAs. They're saying they're going to take them. Yes. And, and we see in this article today about uh, Slick Login. This is a company that was bought by Google, where you can essentially log into the internet just by placing your iPhone next to your computer. It, it's so convenient. And it uses subaudible tones. That's right. And, and, and part of that demonstration, what they're showing is, is that this is very valuable for banks because banks can say that you can only do transactions if you're in certain geographical locations, like maybe your home or your office. At first, it starts out as a security issue, but then they can use it for currency control because, you know, we live in a prison planet, don't we, Alex? And, and it's like, well, if you've got a maximum security prison, that's just, that's one of the worst prisons you can live in. And they're constantly selling us this under the name of security. So for your security at the bank, they're going to enact currency controls and they're gonna use this phone that you've got, which the NSA was bragging about how who thought that Apple would bring in 1984 and they show Apple, they show Steve Jobs, they say, and the zombies would pay for it. This is Big Brother, this is your iPhone. And the head of Facebook calls their users that trust him dumb efforts. Yeah, yeah. They're openly training for war. They're ripping us off with Obamacare, Benghazi, Fast and Furious, hundreds of different scandals. And America is waking up. And the, and the only opposition that's forming that, that knows how the country's supposed to be run in prosperity is being called terrorist. And the military yes. is now saying worldwide, it's not the Chinese government. Mm -hmm. Communists, it's not the Russians, it's not Al-Qaeda. They're saying in mainstream news, we have the articles up on Infowars.com, that it is the veterans, it is the gun owners. Yeah. And they say George Washington would not be welcome in today's army. Folks, that's treason. This is just open treason in your face. Second hour coming up. Stay with us. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum 
potency, super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. 